Wix free website tutorial how to create a free website using Wix hey guys welcome back in this video I'll be showing you guys how you can create your own free Wix website so let's get into it now Wix is a online platform that enables you to create amazing websites from scratch as well as from their amazing templates plus it's super customizable easy and free to use so to get started, simply head on over to Wix.com and click on Get Started on the top right. Once you do that, you can sign up with Google, Facebook, or your email address. So I'm just going to proceed with Google. Now, the best part about using Wix is that they have a lot of different templates. You can build multiple different sites with one email address as well. Plus, they have such amazing layouts that if you don't want a template, you just want a basic layout, you can pick up from those as well. So we're going to click on create new site on the top right and we are going to get started with Wix. Now Wix has two options. You can build on the Wix editor, you can get started with a template and then you can start with a blank canvas as well. Now I'm going to start with a blank canvas and then this will open up Wix studio from where you can get started. So just like that, this has opened up a blank canvas for us to get started with. Now, sometimes it can be a bit overwhelming. So for that reason, I like to recommend choosing, you know, a basic layout before you get started. So if I was to choose a template, so if I was to go and start from a template, and i'll show you guys some of the templates so you guys can see they have a bunch of different templates available they have completely designed templates they also have wireframes so these are just the layouts that can help you in building your site you can find multiple different wireframes as they call it and these can be helpful in setting up your website especially if you're a beginner and you don't have a lot of experience then using these kinds of wireframes can be super helpful so what I'm going to do is I am going to actually take one of these wireframes because, you know, it's going to appeal a lot more and they have multiple different types of wireframes. They have portfolios, e-commerce, advanced portfolios, large landing pages, CMS, multi-purpose wireframes as well. I am going to go with the e-commerce wireframe because I want to build like a e-commerce store or like a clothing store. So we're just going to open this particular wireframe up and then we're going to get started with editing. So as you guys can see over here, this is our basic website. So in this website, we're going to get started with editing. Now this will open up your website in the desktop form. You can also view it in the form of a tablet, in the form of phone, phones as well, and then for higher resolutions as well. So let's say we want to take a look at a thousand pin up like this and you can also add other breakpoints that you might want to view this at now to get started i'm going to click on the center and insert our business name over here now if you want to upload your logo instead of having text you can do that as well for that click on add on the top left click on add image then you're going to change the image and click on upload media then click on upload from computer and then we're going to use our logo from here and we're just going to wait for this to be completed now a shorter way to do this if you have a bunch of different resources that you want to upload you can just upload them together and then later on start editing so we have uploaded our logo and i'm just going to resize it and i can attach it to the center now, if I want, I can write the rest of my business name if I want. If I want, I can just keep the logo at the center as well. That's totally up to you and how you want to structure your website. So I want to maybe only include my logo like this that I'm going to click on over here. And I have the color. So I'm going to turn it into pure white over here like this now after that we have a title you know basic text so i'm going to click on that i'm going to click on the text over by the latest styles and the trends here like this and then our shop now button could lead to our new arrivals or our latest collection and then in the back i can click on this section and on the right i have the responsive behavior we also have fit to screen we also have the scale proportionally option so I want to keep it at a fit to screen size 
and then I'm going to change media over here and I'm just going to search for an image and I'm just going to use one of these images available for free and I'm just going to change the background from here now once I've done that I can click on the image as well and then I can click on over here I can add cells I can you know use it and add different breakpoints as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and I might want to change the opacity I can also choose to put it in tiles I can also go with the original size of the image which would be too zoomed in so I'm just going to scale it like this and then we have the layout as well now I am going to add a different focal point like this so you can add a different focal point to move the image let's say this is our focal point like this so I'm going to move it down a little like this like this and maybe I want to move the person to one of these sides so I can do this as well or I can go with the other side as well like this and then after that we have our next section which is our bestseller section now a lot of people might wonder how am I supposed to add products well I like to save my site as it is for now and I'll just enter the name that I want so this is the free Wix domain that you will receive with your Wix account I'm going to click on save and continue I'm going to rest of the pages later on but I'll show you guys how you can add products and manage your shop integrations so once you have published your site and saved it we're going to click on OK. Then you're going to go out and click on Dashboard on the top left. And this will open up the back end of your website. So you're going to open up the back end. And from here, you can click on Store Products on the left. And then you have your products over here. And these are all your sample products. So you can just bulk select them. And then you can click on Delete over here. And we can add our new product. So we can add physical product or digital product. So I'll show you guys an example product. Blue purse like this. And I can add images and videos of our product as well. And I'll just upload a file for our product like so. And I'm just going to click on add to page. And then I can add the product info, description, different product options if you have sizes or different colors, as well as your status. So whether it's in stock or not. Now I'm just going to enter a price and then just click on save over here. Once I do that, I can go back into my site to see the site in action. So if I click on publish over here, and I'm going to click on view site over here to see what it looks like and what our product looks like live. So this is our current site. And then if I scroll down, currently I haven't added any info. But if I go into our shop section, we would be able to find our product. So we have a blue purse. We can open this up and see how it's going to look like. So this is, you know, all of the basic information provided. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.